Well, a whopping great big thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers in 2019, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. Currently, it has more than 6 million users worldwide. And right now, there's a Black Friday deal. You can get Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 per month, six months extra with a 30 day money back guarantee. It's the best Atlas VPN offer of the year. Get your deal by clicking the link below this video. Atlas VPN stops ads and malware. It's more than just a VPN. It blocks all malicious links, ads and trackers and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. Atlas VPN Premium for just $1.70 per month, six months extra, 30 day money back guarantee. Be quick, get your deal, check out the link below. Well, views of my channel will know one of the things I love to do is to highlight uh, stuff that's gone under the radar or has just been completely ignored by mainstream media. And the polling now is very clear, clear trend. And I know from reading many of your comments, many of you switching to Reform UK at the moment, that Reform UK are increasing their support. And you're seeing this reflected in the polls. And yet, for some reason, some sections of the mainstream media are just completely and utterly ignoring this rise in support. And the fact that a lot of leavers have switched their support and are currently intending to vote reform. As I said, I've been reading lots of your comments, lots of you currently intending to vote for Reform UK and Reform themselves have said they've seen a surge in membership. So this is something that I'm going to highlight on this channel because it's very significant that Richard Tice has pledged that Reform UK, unlike the Brexit party, you'll remember at the last general election, standing a down against uh, Conservative MPs, not standing in Tory held seats, Tice planning pledging to stand in virtually every constituency, over 600 candidates they're saying, including Tice himself standing in Hartlepool again, of course, where there is now a Conservative MP. So we're right here with Neil. We've been hitting the doors in Seaton and Hartlepool. What have you been hearing this morning? Well, we've been hearing that the most of the residents we spoke to today are certainly very disillusioned with Labour and the Conservatives. They don't believe we live in a democracy anymore completely disillusioned with the way politics is going and quite a few people are looking for an alternative. That's come across on the doorsteps today. So whether you are for Reform UK or against, there's no doubt that this is a party that could have a significant impact on the next election. And we've seen Rishi Sunak already uh, seemingly abandon pledges on Brexit that he made prior to becoming Prime Minister. And this isn't just one poll. There's a number of polls now where you've seen Reform UK increase their support. There was recently a YouGov poll that showed Reform on six, catching up to the Lib Dems. And there's been another one now from people polling. Now, if you look at their headline, you see there Reform UK isn't even actually listed, which is a bit strange in that top line on Twitter. Uh, Gwen Towler there uh, asking people polling, how can you justify keeping... Reform UK out of your tweet, given you know they have leapfrogged the Greens. And indeed, when you look into these figures, you see Reform UK up to now on 7%, so ahead of the SNP, ahead of the Greens, and just behind the Lib Dems with the Conservatives up six, still only on 20 though, and Labour with a big lead there down to, but on 51%. But what's really key here, as always, is looking beyond just the 7%, because when you go into these figures, and again, I think this is another uh, all-time high, and there have been quite a few of these lately, in terms of the amount of leavers currently intending to vote for reform. Well, in this poll, at 7% nationally, it's 16%. 16% of leavers, of Brexiteers, currently intending to vote reform in this latest uh, people polling data. So I think this is significant that you're seeing a consistent trend now of Reform UK increasing their support, close to overtaking uh, the Lib Dems. And I just think it's interesting to see some in the mainstream media have not picked up on this, have not reported on this at all yet. As I said, this is the type of stuff that I know uh, lots of you are interested in, lots of you 
uh, currently intending to vote for Reform UK or thinking about it. So I thought I'd highlight this and the fact that though some in the mainstream media are ignoring this, you're now seeing a consistent trend and a number of all-time highs recently in terms of the number of leavers, the number of Brexiteers currently intending to vote for Reform UK. Let me know what you make of all of this in the comments below, guys. Do whack this video a quick thumbs up, please. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.